welcome. My name is Laia and today's yoga class is designed to help you when you are stressed out and not doing or feeling well. So it's going to be a short sequence that you can do whenever and pretty much wherever. You don't need any props to do the practice. If you have a yoga mat, that's a great prop to have, but other than that, you may not need anything else. If there are props that you enjoy using, please feel free to use them during this practice. And as always, I will be offering different options, different modifications so that you can make the practice completely yours. And perhaps choose the path of least resistance today. So instead of pushing yourself into shapes, let yourself relax and do a little bit less. yourself to a comfortable seated position, arranging your sitting bones, relax your shoulders down and away from the ears and lengthen your neck. And just give yourself a moment to arrive, maybe looking side to side, up and down, becoming aware of your surroundings. If it matters to you, make sure that you know where your exits are. And once you're ready, bring yourself to stillness, inhaling through the nose and out through the nose or the mouth. Again, inhale through the nose, out through the nose or the mouth. One more just like that, inhale, and exhale. Return to your natural breath. And just let, self, let yourself notice how it is that you arrive into this practice, no matter if it's the beginning, the middle, or the end of your day. What sensations can you notice in your physical body? Allow yourself to move throughout the body, recognizing what feels tight and uncomfortable, but also noticing what feels open, relaxed. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth side out. <sighs> Again, inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Bring your hands together in front of your heart or maybe one hand to your abdomen, one hand to the heart. Noticing your heartbeat. Recognizing in this moment that you are here, that you are alive and inviting yourself to make choices throughout this practice and beyond that help you relax, release stress, and realign with the goodness in you, with the gentleness, with the kindness, with the love. Deep breath in, side out. Reach your arms out and up, inhale. Unite your palms overhead. And on the exhalation, draw your hands together in front of your heart. Inhale, keeping your palms together, extend your arms forward. And then as you exhale, open your arms to the sides. Face your palms forward, and as you inhale, rotate the pinky forward and the thumb back, creating external rotation. Maybe lift your chest a bit and your gaze. And on the exhalation, rotate inwardly, rotating the thumbs back, and maybe you lower your gaze down and you round your back a little. Inhale to rotate outwardly and lifting your chest and your gaze. Exhale, internal rotation with the arms, round your back a little and look down. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Place your palms up toward the ceiling, bring your torso to neutral. Inhale, reach both arms up. This time, interlace your hands and flip them up toward the ceiling. Ground through the sitting bones, open up through the side body, reach all the way up through the fingertips. Whether your elbows are bent or straight is up to you. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, lean a little bit toward the left, opening the right side body. Keep both sitting bones grounded. Notice if your right hip or knee rise up. Gently press them down, and maybe that means you don't go as deep into the stretch. That's okay. 
Maybe your gaze goes over to the right. And on your next inhalation, bring yourself back to center, stretch a little bit more upward toward the ceiling. And on the exhalation, keeping both sitting bones evenly grounded, this time lean toward the right and open the left side body. Feel the space between the ribs. Allow your right rib cage to go forward and your left rib cage to go a little bit back. One more breath. And then slowly bringing yourself back through center. Release your hands and then create circles with your wrists as you come all the way down. Inhale, reach your arms back up. Exhale, draw your hands together in front of your heart. Perhaps they stay there, perhaps they rest back on your lap or your knees. Close your eyes or soften your gaze down. And ask yourself, what is something heavy that you've been carrying and you're ready to release, even if it's just for right now? Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. What is something that you're ready to ease into, perhaps? or soften into, or embrace. Take a deep breath in, and sigh it out. Open your eyes if they're closed, lean back a little bit, and bring your feet in front of you on the ground, a little bit wider than your hips. Your hands can be on the floor behind you for support. And then simply move your knees from side to side like windshield wipers. For some folks, it may feel better to kind of stretch the legs and just shake them out, especially if you feel a lot of kind of stress or tension on the legs, or maybe you'd rather stay with windshield wipers. One more breath here. And then pausing at the center, slide your legs to either side and bring yourself to hands and knees, a tabletop position. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees, underneath your hips, about hips distance apart. And as always, if your knees are sensitive, place a blanket underneath. If your wrists are sensitive, make fists instead. A little bit of movement side to side may be beneficial here. Or perhaps you'd rather do a few cat-cows and as you inhale, you dip the belly and open up to the front body as your gaze goes forward or up. And on your exhalation, you can round your back and gaze down toward the navel. Inhale to arc and open. Exhale to round. One more breath wherever you choose to be. And then slowly bringing your spine to neutral. And on your inhalation, send your right leg behind you, press your toes onto the ground and reach back through your heel. You can stay in stillness or move back and forth. For some folks, it may be nice to lift your left knee off the floor, but keep your hips slow. The intention is just to stretch through the right leg. And then if you lifted your knee, lower it down. Inhale, lift your right toes off the floor, engage your core. And on your exhalation, bring your right foot to the outside of the right hand. For some of us, you may have to grab your ankle with your hand and slowly take it there. And perhaps you lift your left knee off the floor and slide your left leg a little further back before you lower it back down. If you had a block here, keep it underneath your hands, lifting your chest. And you could remain here in stillness, or perhaps you dial your right toes a little bit to the right. And then bring your right hand to your inner thigh and take a gentle twist toward the right. Maybe you feel like coming to the outer edge of the right foot. Keep your chest lifted and your breath full. One more breath here, inhale. And on your exhalation, lower your right hand down to the floor, point your right toes forward and slide your right leg back next to the left again. Find your tabletop once again, take a moment to realign the stance. And then as you inhale, take your left leg behind you, toes on the floor, reach back to the heel, back and forth. Your right knee can lift or not, one involves the core a little bit more than the other. One more breath. 
and then lowering your right knee if it's lifted inhale lift your left leg let it float for a moment and on your exhalation bring your left knee toward your left elbow and plant the foot on the outside of the hand maybe you slide your right leg a little further back to create a deeper stretch onto the right psoas and you can stay on your fingertips here lifting your chest pressing the knee toward the midline or perhaps you choose a different stretch and you dial your left toes to the left right hand plants firmly and then your left hand perhaps comes to your inner thigh as you twist toward the left. You can come to the outer edge of the foot to notice the shift and sensation when you do that. But none of, none of these options are better than the one before or the one after. There's just ideas for you to explore and notice what feels good in your body. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, Lower your left hand, point your left toes forward and send your left leg next to the right. Shift your weight forward, breathe in. And as you breathe out slowly, lower yourself down to the belly, bringing, making a pillow with your hands and resting your forehead down. Perhaps you wiggle your hips a little side to side. Perhaps you find stillness and breathe deeply into the back body, in through the nose. Let it go. <sighs> Again, inhale, let go. And on your next inhalation, lift your head up. Bring your elbows to the floor right underneath your shoulders, or for some folks, it may be a little further in front, yeah? And then press the palms of your hands to the floor, drawing the elbows back and lifting your chest. So again, just notice if this is fairly intense, just move your elbows slightly forward until you find an arc on the upper back that feels good for you. If you're seeking to shift the sensation a bit, maybe you draw the elbows directly underneath the shoulders. And you can keep your gaze forward or you can allow your chin to relax down toward the chest. Maybe even find a little bit of movement, tracing your collarbones with your chin from shoulder to shoulder as you breathe in and out. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, slowly bring yourself back down, make a pillow with your hands or take either cheek to the ground. Taking a deep breath in through the nose here. And let it go. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, inhale, peel your chest off the floor, lifting into whatever back bend works for you. Draw your shoulder blades toward one another. And on your exhalation, bring your hips back. Now you could bring your big toes together, separate your knees, and bring yourself to a child's pose. You could also choose to keep your knees aligned with your hips, tuck your toes, and send your hips up and back for downward dog. Just choose what works for you. And allow yourself to breathe in stillness or find a little bit of movement. One more breath here. Inhale. Truly let it go. <sighs> if you're in downward dog, bring yourself down to the knees. If you're in child's pose, slowly climb your chest up and then slide one hip to the floor and bring your legs around. Take a moment to maybe shake them out. Maybe you roll your ankles a bit one way and then the other. Breathe in and breathe out. Now start to cross your right knee on top of the left leg. So you're going to come to the other edge of your right, right foot, foot, and then the knee stack is going to be one on top of the other. The other. Yeah, for some small folks, if your foot is floating, this is a great place to like line line it or a block underneath. And sometimes, even if your foot is on the floor, bringing a block underneath may shift the sensation for you, so consider that. And then relax your shoulders and lengthen your spine. Yeah, If you're here and you feel nothing or you would like to explore something else i invite you now to bring your left leg underneath and you're sitting between the heels not on the heels yeah and you can keep your hands on the floor here relaxing the shoulders and lengthening the spine inhale or if you want to as you exhale take your chest forward 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 and you could stay there maybe your hands come in front of you on a block or the floor or maybe you let yourself wave up and down. So as you inhale, you lift back up. 
And as you exhale, you reach forward, forward, and down. One more, inhale. And as you exhale, perhaps this time, if you were moving up and down, you let yourself remain in the pose. Whether your bottom leg is extended or bent, doesn't really matter. What sensations can you feel here? Let your exhales get longer. And your inhales more profound. And then on your next inhalation, slowly rise up, lift your chest, lean back a little bit. And again, your bottom leg could stay extended or bent. And then place your right foot either across the knee or you can bring it back in line with your spine. Yeah. And again, you could do this with your leg, your bottom leg bent or not. Yeah. Lengthen through the spine as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, let yourself twist toward the right. Keep your spine long, your breath full. One more breath. And on your next inhalation, slowly bring yourself back to center, lean back for a moment, bring your feet to the floor, and then you can move your knees from side to side for a moment. And we'll do the second side now. So this time, extend your right leg and bring your left knee on top of the right, allowing the knee to kind of drop forwards. And the outer edge of your left foot will be on the ground, or maybe you put it on a block or a blanket for support. And you could stay here, and as you inhale, you lift and then lower down. Or again, if you wanted to, you can slide your right foot, yeah? Consider that different sides may need different things. Breathe in to lengthen the spine, and breathe out to wave down. Perhaps you stay, or perhaps you move up and down a couple more times. Staying with your breath, staying with your intention for this practice. Again, considering where can you let go a little and do a little less. Eventually, let yourself fold and rest. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. On your next inhalation, slowly rise. Feel free to extend your bottom leg or keep it bent and then place your left foot either across the right knee or aligned with the left hip. It's up to you. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. And on your exhalation, this time take a twist toward the left side. Breathing fully. Giving yourself permission to be just as you are, even if your mind is reeling. Even if you don't feel that great, whatever it is that you feel, acknowledge. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, start to return to center. If your left leg is crossed over the right, uncross it, stretch it in front of you. Hands next to your hips or a little bit behind. It really depends on the length of your arms. And then just shake out your legs here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Slow down the movement, find a comfortable seated position, or if you wanted to, you could lie down, but we're going to do a physiological breath for a moment, so I encourage you to stay seated. And physiological breath just works like this, it's very simple. You inhale through the nose twice, the first inhale longer than the second, and then you exhale strongly through the mouth. Yeah? Inhale. Stay with it. Three more. Return to your natural breath. Inhale. And slow exhale. Let yourself remain seated. Or bring yourself to lie down just for the next couple of minutes. Finding a little bit more space for surrender. Reminding yourself that you can move from 
high stress, into gentleness, into calm, that you can shift your mood, your energy. So breathe, soften and let go. Take a deep breath in through the nose, letting it expand front to back, side to side and top to bottom. Hold at the top if it works for you. And whenever you're ready, let it go. All the way out, emptying your body completely. Take a moment to notice how you feel. If you're lying down, you could stay there or you can bring yourself to a seat. Let your hands rest on your lap or your knees or maybe one hand to the heart, one hand to the abdomen. Again, noticing how you feel after this practice. If there's any shift to acknowledge, acknowledge it. Welcome it. Remembering that it too will pass. And it is your choice, your responsibility to realign and to love yourself again and again and again and again. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Let go. <sighs> Repeat within or without with whatever language resonates with you most. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You want to feel complete. You can let your hands release. You can let your eyes open. Hmm. And return to your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me. All right, friends, I hope that you've enjoyed the practice and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.